Is it going to be possible to turn real fruit into cotton candy? Now, if you've watched any of my short form content or some of my old stuff on the King of Random, you may have seen me trying things in a cotton candy machine. I have tested out I've lost track of how many things I've tried putting in a cotton candy machine. But I've always used like these artificial flavors and candies or all sorts of things, but I want to see if it's possible to use just only real fruit as the flavoring. I am still planning to use sugar, but with the sugar, I want to use real fruit. So I have some ideas of what we can do to get that flavor out of the fruit and into the sugar and therefore into the cotton candy. So to start off, I've got three types of fruit. I've got pineapple, lime, and strawberry. And the first step is going to be cutting them all into smaller pieces. The machine itself is important, but not for quite some time. So I'm just gonna put this out of the way. There we go. And time to cut up some fruit. I've got a tray each of sliced pineapple, lime, and strawberry, so now I'm going to freeze them before I put them into the freeze dryer to suck out all of the moisture. Two hours later. Freeze drying will remove all of the water from our fruit while helping it retain its structure. The idea is that it will make it easier to extract the flavor in our next step. One hour later. To extract the flavor, I'm soaking all of my freeze-dried fruits in vodka. And this is not something new that I've made up. Soaking food in vodka has been used to make flavor extracts for ages. It's very common for homemade vanilla extract. The vodka is a decently high alcohol content with very little of its own flavor, so it works really well to pull out all of the best parts of the fruit for our cotton candy. Now, if you like the idea of adding custom flavor to stuff, you're really gonna get a kick out of this water bottle made by the sponsors of today's video, Circle. The water that's currently in this bottle is just water from the tap. It doesn't have any flavor, but when I drink it, it comes out with flavor. Circle is trying to help people drink more water. Some people prefer to have some flavor in their water and Circle has made that really easy because you just add normal tap water into the bottle. Just one of these flavor packs on a medium setting will get you six 20 ounce bottles worth of water of flavor. If you're trying to stay hydrated better, that is a great place to start. And with over a hundred flavors, they've got fruity stuff, they've got coffees and teas, you're sure to find something that you like a lot. If you're in the mood for unflavored water, turn the dial to one side. If you want a real kick of flavor, turn it all the way the other direction. It's that easy. Easy flavoring isn't the only advantage. You're also saving a lot of plastic by reusing the same bottle over and over. In fact, you will save 84% plastic using just one flavor cartridge instead of six bottles of flavored water bought from the store. Not only are you going to stay better hydrated, but all of their flavors have no sugar. Pretty good bonus. Mmm, fruit punchy. Using the link in the description or the QR code on the screen, get a free white stainless steel bottle and flavor cartridge with your first order of $35 or more. Our fruit has now been soaking in the fridge in the vodka for like two weeks, which I think should be plenty to get whatever flavor out of them we can. And it's kind of fun to look at them. We've got our color. We've got the yellow, the green, and the pinkish red from the strawberry. So let's take a closer look at what we've got. Preliminary test. Let it evaporate a little bit. It has a little bit of strawberry flavor, not a lot, but that was only a very tiny bit. All right. Time to filter all this down and get rid of everything that isn't just fruit flavor. Now this right here is a very fine mesh metal sieve and that's just gonna get the larger bits of particles out after which it's gonna go through a coffee filter to get all the particle bits out. Okay, we've got our filtered reductions here. So now we're gonna put them on the stove, reduce the liquid volume, and mix them in with some sugar. I actually did a bunch of different tests, trying to find the best way to incorporate the flavor into the sugar, and this is what I found worked the best without giving any burnt flavor. All right, we've got our sugars, our strawberry, pineapple, and lime. They all actually taste pretty good. I've just you know, been snacking on the sugars a little bit. Uh, I think I did overcook the lime a little bit. So we're in some sort of lumps and I'm just gonna run it through a blender for a couple seconds to powder that back up. 
That's better. I guess now all that's left is to see if it turns into cotton candy. Hmm, strawberry. Time to make our fruit into candy. I'm gonna start off with the pineapple. Hopefully, it'll turn into cotton candy more than it burns. Oh, look at that fluff forming up right away. Just what we were hoping to see. Woo. You know what doesn't get transferred over very much is the pineapple color. It is yellow, you can see it more on the walls, but it's mostly white on the stick. Starting off with lime, which looks a lot like the pineapple. They both kind of look like crushed up Ritz crackers. Okay, we've got a slightly different texture. Interesting. Come back here. I don't know why it's going everywhere. All right, actually I do have a guess. I kind of burned the lime sugar as I was mixing it in, and I think that changed how the sugar is reacting in the machine. You can see I did not gather as much as I did of the pineapple, but I'm pretty sure the strawberry didn't get burned. So if that one goes weird, that's just because that's what the strawberry does to it. And by far the flavor that added the most color. Oh, that smells so good. Big wave of strawberry scent coming out as soon as that hit the machine. This is fluffing up quite nicely, which of course is what I hope for. All right, we have three, well, two and a half real fruit cotton candy cones. Let's test them out. Pineapple. I, it, it's cotton candy. It tastes like pineapple. It doesn't even have a weird texture like a lot of candy turns into. I will say it's not pineapple candy flavored. It's pineapple fruit flavored. Very different, but I really like it. Ow. Lime. I think the peels and lime put a lot of bitter flavor in. And then as I said, I think I burned the sugar. So I'm not expecting much out of this skint offering of lime cotton candy. But it is flavored. Wow. That is extremely lime flavored. Ow. A little bitter. Not as much burnt flavor as I was afraid of. All right, strawberry. This is the one I was most excited about. We got some color, not a lot, but some. Let's try this. Oh, it smells so good. And that is delicious. That tastes like strawberries, not like strawberry candy. It tastes like strawberries in the texture of cotton candy. This is incredibly good. Guys, I probably tried four or five different methods to get real fruit flavor into sugar, into cotton candy, so I could have real fruit flavored cotton candy. And this was the method I tried that actually got me there. It's a lot of steps. I'm not saying it's worth it, but it is really cool to experience actual fruit flavor in cotton candy. I like all three. The strawberry is definitely my favorite. I would like to try lime again, removing peel all the way and not burning the sugar when I'm mixing it up, but I think strawberry would still win, even if the lime turned out perfectly. I could eat this all day. Oh my gosh. Oh, I gotta make more. As always, a huge thank you shout out to all of our supporters on Patreon. We could not do these videos without you. If you're interested in joining the Patreon supporters, the link for that is in the description.